Hello, I'm Catherine from my hillside garden. Let's plant some onion seeds. This is the seed starter mix I'll be using for some of the onions. We're going to get started with that now. Let's see how it looks. What I did was I left the water in the pan from the winter sowing I did the other day. There's not very much in there, but I didn't want to waste it. And when I opened this bag of the Pro Mix, I noticed it was extremely dry. So much so that there's almost like little rocks of the, comp the starter mix. So I know it needs to be moistened. Whenever you have a bag like this, when it comes out, of course you can't plant in something like that. So I'm going to break these bits apart and I'll bring you back when I'm done. I haven't put any more seed mix into here. Pro mix it's called. Um, I did moisten it quite a bit with a spray bottle and there are still lumps in it. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't think I'm going to start all of my onion seeds in this. That's why I didn't put any more in this container. It's of a good moisture right now. See how it holds together pretty decently and yet you could break it apart. So it will absorb more water when I go to water the seeds. But I'm surprised there's kind of big bits in here um, that I've pulled out that I generally wouldn't like in a seed started mix. But it's what I'm going to go with for right now. So Let's fill some cells and get some onion seeds planted. I had hoped to do this outside. It is January 17th today, and we've just gotten fresh snowfall of about nine inches since yesterday. So we won't be doing this outside. That's why I'm a little, I'm improvising a little bit right now in the grow room because I don't have the grow room exactly set up the way I like it. So what I'm gonna do these under the bed trays work perfect. It's not a, a tight fit, and I guess if I took the other tray out, it probably would work, but we're going to go with this for now. So I'm going to put the seed starting mix as much as I can into these end cells for now. And I'm trying something a little bit different this year with the fact that I'm going to grow my own onions from seed instead of using sets. I did use plants last year and I got a much nicer crop, larger onions, and not. I don't really think any of them went to seed, where in the past when I've used onion sets, the little bulbs, um, I've had that problem where they'll go to seed before I harvest. So that's why I did a little reading and a little YouTube research. And I found that perhaps if I started my own, and starting your own is a heck of a lot cheaper than buying plants. If you don't have the space to do it, buying plants is a very good option. But if you do have space to grow your onions from seed, it doesn't seem to be that hard. So I'm excited about giving it a try. I always look for new things to try, and new thing, new ways to grow things to make to make my planting a little bit easier. So, okay. So I got my seed order from Baker Creek. And this year I'm going to do some Alice Craig onion. Now, according to the seed packet, it is a long day onion, which is what we need. It could get to five pounds, but it also says it's not a good storage onion. So I'm just gonna do some cells with this just to have onions for using through the season. And I'll probably plant some here in our garden in zone six, and I will do some in our garden in zone seven. So as you can see, they're rather small seeds. They look a little bit like coal. I'm just gonna take them in small clumps, 
what I want to do is, you know, I'm not even going to make a hole for them because I think they'll do okay with what I show you next. Um, I'm going to put five seeds in the center of each cell. And we're going to grow them out like this because different things I've been watching and reading, people do it this way. And the onions know how to grow. Sometimes we give them too much encouragement or energy of our own and don't let them do their own thing. So I'm going to take about five and put it in the center of each. Let them grow in a little clump. And that's going to be one of our experiments for this year to see if this really works as well as it does for other people. Because it seems like a very interesting way to grow. You don't need necessarily any more space. Um, actually, since you're planting them at the same distance as you would a single onion, and since these are not for storage, that's okay. So then, let me show you what I'm going to try next. So, what I've been learning about is using vermiculite on the top. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle some across the top of the surface instead of putting more seed starter. And in essence, this is supposed to make it a little bit easier for the onion seed to come through because really they're on top of the soil and their roots are in the soil. So I'm hoping by doing this It'll help to perhaps cut down on the fungus gnats. I don't know if it will or not. I had a real issue with them last year, and I'm not sure which seed starter they came in, but they were in somebody's seed starter that I bought. So this year I have to try different things to see. So now the onions won't have, I'm just going to tamp them down just a little bit because I do want the seeds to have good contact with the soil. This is a, a nice little cover for them. And this way we have a nice spot for our onion seeds. So that's the Alice Craig and I'll tell you about some of the onion, other onions I'm going to plant and how I'm going to be planting them. I'm also going to do, and, and now I'm going to sow out the rest of my onion seeds. I got the Stuttgart onion, and this is an old time favorite. It's a large, medium large yellow onion with good flavor, and it's one of the best keepers. So I'm going to need to plant about a hundred of these. So what I'm going to do is I'll fill the rest of the cells. And then I'm going to scatter seed, probably 10 or 12, maybe a little bit more, nice size pinch, into each one. And I'll let them grow until about April when I'll take them to my Zone 7 garden and plant them out. And I will also do the same thing with these Westerfield Red, which is also another um, long day onion. It was popular in New York at one time, and um, it ripens in September and keeps really well. So we like red, red onions as well. So I'll probably end up planting about 100 of these also. I just wanted you to see the difference. The next seeding mix that I'm using is by Black Gold. What a difference. I will definitely use this one for the future. Look at how much nicer. It's more sifted, I guess you could say. There's no big lumps. There's no big chunks of wood or pieces of anything. I don't have to break anything up. But it is rather dry, so the one thing that I will do before I fill the cells is I will add some water to it, and then I'll get to filling the cells. But I wanted you to see the difference in the two soil mixes. And they both are seed starter mixes. Okay, so we got all three types of onions planted out into our seed cells. 
I did use the Pro Mix in these and the gold, the black gold in the rest. I did cover these with vermiculite, though I could have used the starter mix. It would have been perfectly fine to do that. I wanted them to be the same so I could see if there was any real difference with them germinating through that. Um, I'm gonna, the last thing I need to do besides put on the cover is to give it a good drink. I'm gonna bottom water, let it sit in there for about a half an hour, be sure that those cells are nice and moist, and then they'll go underneath the grower lights, and we'll check on their progress in about a week. But these two, I did write on the back of the label that they're for my zone seven garden, and that I will probably plant them out in April. So that way it's just a little reminder to me. Things get very busy at that time of the spring. You kind of forget things sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you get to walk away with something you've never tried before and that you'll join me for this journey. Please give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear anything you're trying in your garden for growing your onions. And have a great day. Happy gardening.